proclaim to you of the greatness of Christ. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ demonstrated his love to you and me. I received him as my savior. I'm born again. I love him. And I want to tell people of how great he is. He did a miracle in my life. The supernatural power of God. God came into my being. I was changed. I was changed in a moment. And God in his love continues to change me from day to day into his glory, his image, his beauty, his greatness. And I'm here to testify to you that you can come to know this God, Jesus Christ. That you can come in repentance, confession of sin. That you can acknowledge your crimes and rebellion against the Holy God. And he will be merciful to forgive. He is a forgiving God. He forgives sinners. I'm one of them. I was a sinner and now I'm forgiven. I was a sinner and I'm saved. I'm saved from God. Man, God was against me. By nature, I was under the wrath of God like you are. You're under the judgment of God. You're under his wrath. Do you understand that God is angry? He is angry with the wicked. But God is no longer angry with me. God is not angry with me anymore because Jesus Christ is the mediator. He stepped in. He's my stand-in. He's my substitute. He paid my debt. I owe God a great debt. I have sinned against God, and him alone have I done evil. Evil in the sight of God. The eyes of the Lord behold the evil and the good. And I broke God's law, and I came in repentance. I changed my, my thoughts about him. I came in repentance, surrender. I was delivered out of the kingdom of darkness. And I was transferred to the kingdom of the love of the Son. And now I open my mouth and I raise my voice that all may hear of the goodness of God. How Jesus Christ suffered and died for me. Do you, are you a believer? Do you believe in Christ? Is he in your life? Does it manifest in your thought life, your words, your secret life? Oh, I said before you, I set before you the power of God. God has done a great work in me, and I'm a testimony of that power. I'm a testimony of God's mercy. His mercy right now triumphs over judgment. His mercy is extended to you today, or otherwise we would be consumed. His mercies are new every morning, and I walk into his mercy today. Will you walk into the mercy of God? Why would you flip God off? Why would you have that attitude? Why would you continue to be a rebellious woman? Why would you continue on that broad road of destruction? Why would you reject the love of Christ? Why would you harden your heart and become a child of the devil, walking in darkness and rebellion? Why? Why do you continue to mock God? Why would you reject him who has showed you, who has showed you his mercy, his grace, his goodness? Oh, today, today if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Today if the Holy Spirit convicts you of sin, you sin against God, and the Spirit of God brings to your remembrance the things that you have lied about. The things that you have done when you had sex out of marriage. That's the love of God to come. The love of God that would reprove you and rebuke you, correct you, discipline you. That means God. God convicts you. Troubles your conscience because you have sex out of marriage. You look at pornography. You do that which is wicked in the sight of God. But God in his love breaks through. God breaks through. Oh, you need a breakthrough today. The power of God breaks through in your heart, and you would be born again. New heart, new spirit. Oh, where you would love God more than anyone or anything else. You would throw away your idols. 
you would throw away those things that make God angry. That you might hear the truth. That you might understand that Christ, Jesus Christ, suffered and died for you, and you can experience heaven. You can experience eternal life. But you got to repent of your sin, your selfishness, your crimes, your rebellion. You're all sinners. Are you a sinner? Have you sinned against God? We've all sinned. We've all broken God's law. We all stand guilty before a holy God. But Jesus Christ has washed me clean. I am forgiven. I've been set free. I stand innocent. I stand not guilty. I'm ready to die because Christ died in my place. Jesus Christ took my punishment. And how did he do that? And now I'm born again. But are you born again according to the scripture? Acts 2 According to the scriptures, I, I have received Christ as my Lord and Savior. Are you born again? Have you experienced the power of God? Have you? You're a lesbian? God sets lesbians free. You can find a good man and get married. Oh, he will take care of you. No, you don't. You lust. You lust over girls. It's wrong. She'll never have children. She'll never have children. She'll never meet God created. God created. You lesbians? No, I love lesbians. That's why I'm telling you to repent. Oh, really? But I'm not going to have sex with a lesbian. That doesn't mean you love them that way. Wait, are you you tell them God the truth. Hates lesbians? No, God loves lesbians. That's why He died for them. Well, what's wrong with lesbians? But you must repent to experience the love of God. Is it you wrong? can't. Yes, it's wrong. You know it's wrong. It's shame. It's shame for you to sleep tell with another. Me I'm wrong because I'm a lesbian. You're wrong because you're a lesbian. The Bible says you're wrong. Go the Bible says you're wrong. You can be set free right now. I can pray for you, and you can be set straight. You know it's great. Oh, it's beautiful. I've experienced the power of God. I was a sinner. I was selfish. And then Jesus Christ came into my life, and now I no longer fear police. I'm a model citizen. I walk up brightly. Ah, yes, I don't lie. I don't steal. I don't have sex out of marriage because I got the power of God. I got the power of God. I'm able to resist the evil and choose the good. I don't, I don't masturbate over porn. I don't look at porn. I do. I know you do. But you're a pervert. A pervert. I mean, would you? I'm telling you, you wouldn't marry a pervert. It's sick. It's wrong. Do you agree it's wrong? Do you understand? Do you understand what is wrong? Dude, that's why I'm here telling you having sex out of marriage is wrong. It is wrong. What is wrong? Lying is wrong. Unbelief is wrong. Being prideful is wrong. Thinking you're better than God is wrong. I mean, you all go to San Jose State and you think you're all intelligent and you, you're smart, but you don't even understand. What is right and wrong? That's not smart. That's not smart. Going to a kager party and just getting wasted. That's not smart. They don't do that at Stanford. No way. They don't do it at Stanford. They're not all these perverts. Are they smart? No way. No way. What you do? What you do in the sight of God is wrong. You've offended God. You've offended God. And when you do not repent and come to know Jesus Christ and be born again, that is the only way you're going to escape the anger and wrath of God. You're under the anger of God, the wrath of God. You're under the judgment of God. And you don't see it. I see it. You're about ready to die. You're going to die suddenly. Everyone's going to die. Everyone's going to die. Everyone's going to be judged for their life, their secret life. You're all going to be judged. Everyone dies. Everyone's judged. Are you going to go to heaven or hell? I agree that everyone is judged. Huh? Heaven or hell? Heaven or hell? Where's heaven? Oh, God. God has proved it. Gee, all of creation reveals there's a creator. All of creation reveals there's a creator. His invisible attributes and divine power. Oh, you know there's a creator. God's made it evident in you. If there is no God, you have no call for it. But if there's a God... You're going to be judged. And your conscience bears witness when you lie. Your conscience bears witness when you steal. Your conscience bears witness that having sex, when you get drunk and you're all 